Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this design I'm calling Hope Looms. Uh, I was inspired by uh, Artisan Looms, um, design Iron Strength. Um, it's hard to see in this design. I'll, I'll show you this one. The blue bands here. Um, I really like the way she um, did those uh, on her iron strength so you'll notice that that's similar but I think everything else is completely different and so I worked and worked and worked <laughs> to make a design that I could incorporate um, the way these blue bands go very cool um, on this one it's um, done in the white yin yang yin and yang um, le bands it's more of a, a contrast of of um, bands then contrast a color. This I did for Chidero and Scorbling's um, Breast Cancer Awareness contest. I put a little on charm here and I just it took me a long time to make uh, figure out how to make these larger beads work but I love them. They are so romantic and beautiful and I just I'm I must say I'm very pleased with this design. Love it. So it is going to take six bars across. Oh, and this is full two looms. And it this one didn't come quite together, but with the um, toggle and everything, it it wound up being perfect size. And for whatever reason, this one um, is. It's double, you know, double length, full loom length, and it does reach across. I don't know what the difference is, but anyhow. Um, anyhow, okay, let's get going. I'll use this one since you can see the color is a little easier. Color A. Let's see, how did I do even do this? Okay. <laughs> color A are the, I use the the um, silk, blue silk. I'm going to use jelly. I'm just going to do it like maybe half a loom's length just a, just as a trial so I'm just picking any old extra color bands I have. I'll be using the jelly pink or red violet. I don't know, it's kind of an odd name for, for that color. Um, the B color bands are the navy blue and I'll be using navy blue. <laughs> And the third color, um, which is the uh, lime green, I think it's lime green, neon green. In the opaques, I'm just going to be using opaque white. I, I think for that these, the, um, it works. The opaque work best. And then the fourth color, I guess, or third, um, we'll be making caps. And I guess I'll just use the whites, whites there also. Okay, so let's get going. We're going to place one across like this for the closure band. And then, see, we're going to go one, two, third one up. And we're going to place some bands like this. If you go to the end of your loom, this will be the last one you place. Okay, so you'll have, you know, however, however long you want it, you'll be leaving, you'll do it one set of these below. Does that make sense? Okay. And then you do the same on this side. And this is another of my multi, multi-staged designs done a few of them in the past. Okay, now we'll go back and place the border like this. See, on, on, on this one, um, these under here are the white, so I, I actually, actually um, use two different colors, but on, and on this one, so it didn't be too bulky, so it wasn't too bulky. I used the, these are sweets, 300 count. And then 
for these right across, I just use like um, the pastel pink. You can kind of see them there. Because I didn't want those to overwhelm the bling. Okay, I want to clarify that. So we do this, and then you are going to. <gasps> Oops, my bad. Let's back up here. Pull these off. Goes like this. I'm so sorry. So I took one band out. I'll do it right on, on this side, okay? <laughs> and now we're going to do one angle like this. One angle here. Thank you. Now, I'm going to do it correctly on this side so I don't mess you up. Angle angle so I don't know. I kind of forgot what I just did but just make sure it looks like this so your first the ones that go under here that are placed first will be one two the third set of pins up Now we're going to do another row, just like this. And then over on the side. Oops. Uh-oh. Cider wants something. Probably wants to be out here with me. Hears, I bet he hears my voice. Okay, now this is where I, it's multi, um, oh, somebody's calling me. So now we're going to turn it around, and we're going to start with the inside. We're going to reach underneath these top bands, pull this over here, and then we're going for that one down there. So you kind of bring it back to itself. So you're doing one over and then doing it back. So reach under. Reach under, grab that bottom. Do the same thing on this side, starting with the inner, going out. And then back. Okay. You will see, whoops, if you grab that one at the bottom and just bring it back over. And you want to push these down so you have room to put other bands. Um, I have to go check who messaged me because the girl's are getting off work, one's coming back into town, and I have to make sure I don't miss something important. I'll be right back. Okay, I finished up these last, last bands. Now, very important now that you you finished looming these bands horizontal bands make sure you turn your loom around so the arrows are facing this way again because if you don't you'll have all your bands on backwards and that only works if you're doing my starry starry oh. night oh there's the past again yeah he's a cute past he's a little adorable little past so now the um, these next bands, which I determined to call the B color bands, make sure they're stretchy, okay? Um, you don't want them to snap. Um, they're gonna go around like this. This is this is the um, technique that I um, saw Trish do on her um, iron strength. I mean, I've done triangle bands um, I've done a lot of things with triangly triangly placed bands um, in the past but I liked how um, she did them up the center of her design 
which is totally different than this one, but except for, for this look right here. I just thought it was so cool. Hope you don't mind, Trish. I don't think you do. I probably should have asked first. I forgot. Too busy trying to keep on track of things. Oh. Please forgive me, Trish. I'm so sorry. I should have asked first. Okay, now that we've got that done, we'll take our color C and we're going to start this pin right here. Okay, so it's second column, my second row, third, second column up, second pin up. So it's two, one, one, two, one, two. Okay. Ah, that should have been easier. Now you're going to do it at, at a diagonal. And so you're going to do it like this. Cider wants in his, in Olivia's room. And she's ignoring, she's ignoring, is he ignoring, is she ignoring you, Cy? He was, he was woofing so sweetly, wasn't he? He was being polite and everything. And again, keep pushing these down because... You need to have room. I'm not playing right now. No, puppy. No, I'm not. No. I'm not. I'm busy. All right. I have such a bad aim. I'm sorry. I went to throw it down the hallway and it banged off the, off the door. Okay. Once you've got all those done, now you're going to come kind of cross them this way. Shh. No, I'm not playing fetch right now. I'm busy. I think I'm good. Okay. I wanted to try to do this whole, this whole segment, this whole tutorial in one take, but somebody causing me <laughs> just tossing his little toy around and begging me. So I'm going to go put him in Olivia's room and put her put the dogs. I'll be right back. Okay. Lastly, um, all these pins right here. We're going to cap them, so just double. This is these are the um, bands I used to put these on. I kind of had to, you know, do something a little different, but I figured it out because this is. This is actually my the first little piece I did where I go, aha, there it is. See how close together they come? So I had to put a couple bands through each of those large beads and kind of spread them out so that they didn't um, squish each other. If you were going to do beads just um, across, you know, you'd put the bead in like that, you know. Other people show how to put um, beads on bands and put it across like this. But you'd want to use small. These are 8 millimeter, And I think, you know, they're, if you do one on every pin, it's, it's too squishy. So you need smaller, smaller than 8 millimeter. Otherwise, you've got to um, space them out. It's just, it's too hard for me <laughs> to explain. So hopefully you can find um, somebody who who does the tutorials for those, like Christy and, and Trish um, and others. They can show you how. Okay.
Now we need to cap this right here. I'm just going to use my border color. Okay. Now we'll turn it back around and finish our looming. We are going to start by reaching here and grabbing this diagonal. Then reaching here and grabbing this one that's on top and doing this. Then you do it on the other side or you can go up one side. It doesn't matter because they don't interact with each other. So you do this all the way up, alternating. So you're going to reach here and grab this. real basic. It's actually, I think it's quicker if you just do one, do one side than the other. Well, sounds like my daughter's home from Santa Cruz. Hi, Violet! Hi. She just spent 12 hours on a Greyhound bus coming from Northern California to Southern California. She left Friday night to go up to visit a friend. <laughs> that was like, I guess, I don't know. That was a little less. Not quite as long, but this one was supposed to be 12 hours. A greyhound. A uh, new no thank you, no thank you. Yeah, but she's 17, so you know, that's when you do that kind of stuff. I probably would have done it too. Shoot, I drove across country just when I turned 19, right after I turned 19, from New England to California. That was quite an adventure. My gosh, how beautiful it was to see our country and how it changes. I highly re recommend everybody do it. I did the I-80 across the northern half of the United States. Okay, so that's done. Next, we are going to do the triangle bands, and this is this is where it's the same as um, Artisan Looms, Iron Strength. Okay, so you take the bottom tip right here, and you spread it across these two. And I've I've done this technique, but kind of in a different way, um, so it didn't it didn't look like this. I mean, it had different effects, but. Um, I just love how this looks on her bracelet. So to me, I think when um, somebody likes somebody else's design, they, they want to create their own design being inspired by this. I think that this is what it means. It's not copying the, everything about the design and changing one tiny little aspect. It's like taking one aspect and building your own design around it. So we just do it up on this side. Yeah, make sure you all check out um, Artisan Loom. It's all I, she has it all in one word on, on YouTube, and her design is called Iron Strength. It's really beautiful. Okay, so that's that. Now we are going to take this one border band like this. And now we're going to grab this one, okay? And I advise kind of doing this because there's quite a few bands here. You want to make sure you find the right one. It's right under the like the bottom of the blue band there. Okay. And you're going to single chain these. I get this done before I run right home. Oh, make sure you grab it. It's done. It. At the bottom. Okay. Then you'll do it on this side.
So this piece isn't going to look like much, but it's only for demonstration's sake, so it doesn't have to look great. You just have to know how to do it. <laughs> And lastly, I'm going to grab this one down here and do the border. And the, it's this one right here. See, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not the standard um, single chain because it's been stretched out by these. But it's still basically a single chain. single chain looming technique and do it on this side and I'm not even trying to keep these neat um, these do tend to twist a little so if you keep try to keep them a little neater they snap back into place a lot easier when you take it off the loom come on Now we're going to take it off. So we gender grab this. And the way I take this off, I release the sides. And then I, I use um, my hook because there's quite a few bands. on this, you know, the second and fifth So you turn it over, and there it is. Isn't that pretty? Now, these little two bands right here, okay, if you want them to be prominent like that, or just to make it a little neater, they're hard to see when it's all the same color, but like take your fingers, see, see the difference there? See how it's all squished in right here? And they're kind of up right there. So you, you find those two and just pop them up. Or you can use like a, a bobby pin or a opened up, um, what do you call this, paper clip or a toothpick, and you can do that. If your fingers have trouble grabbing them, just slide it, bring those up. And then if these, you know, sometimes these don't have too much trouble, but these usually have to go like this and just kind of snap them and they'll go back into place. So there you have Hope Looms. And I thought that was such a clever name, you know, Hope Looms. Get it? I mean, it's, I think it's an American phrase that when Hope Looms, it's like, you know, hope is there. It looms, Hope Looms. Yeah, love the play on word. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And I, I look forward as always to see your renditions. And if you would like, please feel free to subscribe to Deb's Thing and be sure to check me out on Instagram. And I will not complain if you follow me at Deb's Thing. Have a good night.